Imagine plucking a guitar string. The tones you hear are its natural frequencies, eigenvalues of a certain linear transformation. The shape the string makes at each tone is an eigenvector. Linear algebra uses these ideas to describe how systems stretch, shrink, rotate, or oscillate. Engineers compute a building's eigenvalues to ensure it won't resonate and collapse during an earthquake. Scientists analyze eigenvalues of energy operators to find stable states in quantum mechanics. Even Google's PageRank algorithm is built on an eigenvector. It treats the web like a network and finds the eigenvector that ranks pages by importance. But what is an eigenvalue? It is a special number Lebler, such that when you apply a matrix A to a non-zero vector V, you get AV equals Lebler V. In other words, V doesn't change direction, it only gets scaled. To find eigenvalues, you solve de A minus lel I equals zero, a polynomial equation. This might sound abstract, but it's practical. In facial recognition, eigenfaces are eigenvectors that capture the main variations of faces. In data science, principal component analysis uses eigenvectors to find directions of greatest variance in high-dimensional data, reducing complexity and revealing patterns. This math lets us strip away details and focus on fundamental modes, so eigenvalues and eigenvectors appear everywhere, from musical instruments to web search to molecular chemistry. Understand them, and you'll unlock a tool that tells you how things change and why patterns persist. Where do you see eigenvalues and eigenvectors at work in your world?